Welcome back to the Month of Monsters, and welcome to the Triple Turtle Trilogy. This is going to be three Ninja Turtles reviews in a row, because they really love Frankenstein and the Universal Ninja Turtles line. Let's begin. Hello, this is Sanat here, and welcome back to the Month of Monsters, Frankenstein Week. Raphael as Frankenstein's monster was the first release in the NECA Universal Monsters Ninja Turtles crossover line. I really love the Michelangelo, but he was release number three, so we're backtracking to the first release. Raphael as the Frankenstein's monster makes a lot of sense. In the original line, he was the mummy and the meta Luna mutant. But in this line, he's the Frankenstein monster, which kind of fits Raph's big bruiser personality. Which I think is actually pretty much an upgrade. And I do love the fact that Universal Monsters and Ninja Turtles have crossed over before, and NECA decided, let's not use the Turtle Associations. So, is Raphael as Frankenstein as good as the Michelangelo as the Mummy? Let's find out. The box for Raphael as Frankenstein's monster looks very similar to the Michelangelo one. Though I didn't mention it there, the actual front image is not an image of the toy, but an image of the painted design. And so you'll see some differences between this and the final product for a lot of these. Uh, particularly Raph's eyes aren't exactly how the figure ends up being sculpted. On the side of the box you can see the Raphael Leonardo Michelangelo in his silhouette for April as the Bride of Frankenstein, as she hadn't been fully revealed when this figure released. The side of the box of course has Raphael as Frankenstein's monster. On the back, we have a nice collage image, a nice poster-like quality, and it has all kinds of cool little phrases like, It's alive! Raphael is Frankenstein's monster. He's been shell-shocked. See a terrifying turtle with attitude. Pure terror from the sewer. Warning, the monster is loose. Beware his shocking sigh. Like with most NECA figures, it has an opening window on the front of the box. Now taking a look at Raphael as Frankenstein's monster, I think this is once again an incredible job of sculpting detail and depth while creating something new. This is a new design as an action figure and it's really, really cool to see. Looking at the head sculpt, it's got this nice expression. It's very much a Frankenstein expression to him and I think it looks great. I love the bolts in the head. I love the bolts holding the eye mask on. Uh, the bolts around the neck, of course, and then the staples keeping the neck together. It's just really impressive work. Some of the details in the upper chest I like is the way that like the shell is underneath the jacket and it's bolted together with a plate because it's falling apart. Uh, the way that there's red patches in the suit to match Raphael's color scheme. And of course, the elbow pads are still in place from the normal Turtles design. Looking at his waist, they gave him real metal chains as a belt, which is just really cool and gives it a really nice tactile feel. And I like the way that the shell is still visible from below the waistcoat. And again, there's so much little stitching details. And across the hands, there's all these staples and all these little details that have been added. And like a black wash to the skin. Like this is an insane amount of detail of sculpting and paint that we don't normally see on Ninja Turtle action figures. I mean, just looking at the hands here, when you have to think about these are swappable hands and there are multiple hands, having different scarring details like that and having those extra paint details, even this closely zoomed are still good. That is a quality, quality action figure. The legs I really like. I like the additions of the bolts to the sides of his ankles. And then I also like the platform shoe design is still in place. And of course he has the Ninja Turtle knee pads you would expect. One of my favorite details is this pressure gauge that runs on the back of the shell as well as on the front of the chest and it has these hoses connecting it. Uh, it's really kind of a cool detail. I'm not exactly sure why he has a pressure gauge, but it makes for a neat detail nonetheless. And I especially like that it looks cracked, it looks worn, it's like a fogged over glass, like it's been dirty and dusty. And you can just see all the cracks in the shell. This guy is literally slapped together uh, design wise, it's amazing. One of my favorite details is that part of his shell is missing and it's been replaced with the New York sewer lid. Uh, this is one of those like things like the manhole covers, the sewer lids, that's a thing in Ninja Turtles and they incorporated it into the universal design because this fits the Frankenstein look quite well. Adding to that, I love the extra plate added to hold the chains across the waist. Again, there's screw detail and there's cracks, looks like it was just bolted in as fast as possible just to try to get through to that shell. 
And I love that the stapled mask detail goes all the way to the back of the head of the figure. It's just incredibly impressive as an action figure enthusiast to see something that's this detailed, uh, especially for a price point of around $40. Now one downside is his hips are a little bit loose, which means when he sits down, he has a tendency to fall over. Articulation wise, the head is ball jointed. It looks up a little bit. Shoulders that move out, 360. Joints are a little bit stiff in the shoulder. He's got a double jointed elbow, which is pretty good. A wrist that pivots and goes in and out. The hips that move out, thigh swivel up there, knee bend, single knee, as well as a knee swivel. And then he also has an ankle that pivots forward and back, left and right. Hand assortment wise, he comes with two hands to hold things and two fists. Much like with the Michelangelo, I don't find myself using the fist very often. He does come with two side. Uh, I love the lightning bolt design. It adds to the Frankenstein look. I love the little balls and the little coils, which is very reminiscent of Bride of Frankenstein when she had the two poles that she was holding onto. Also, what's really nice is there's these brackets on the front of the waist, which means it's really easy to store the size like Raphael normally would when he's not Frankenstein's monster. Naturally, he can hold them, and I think they look fantastic. It just adds to the vibe. It's the same thing with like Michelangelo's nunchucks being onks. Having lightning bolt size just makes total sense for Raphael if he was going to be Frankenstein's monster. Size-wise, you can see that he towers over his movie counterpart, which is really nice to see. Since they're supposed to be in the same scale as the movie figures and similar styling, seeing him taller because he's got the platform shoes is excellent. They really do look like they fit in the same universe, except the Raphael one is obviously the Frankenstein monster design. You can even see that he towers over a Marvel Legends figure where other NECA Ninja Turtles may be a little bit smaller, like turtle-wise. So it's really cool to see his extra height that he has now. And of course, that does make him taller than the Michelangelo mummy, which means there is still scaling between characters. Like, it's not like everybody's about the same height. Like, Frankenstein's monster should be bigger, and he is. And then the mummy should be a little smaller, and he is. And their overall body proportions, you can see that Michelangelo is a lot thinner than Raphael because of the different monsters they're playing. And then of course here's Raphael with the NECA Ultimate Frankenstein's monster, which it's just really cool to have these two together because if you look at them, they're very similarly designed because they are supposed to be the same monster. And I like that, that there's that correlation between NECA's own lines. And of course the two Frankenstein monsters can battle it out for supremacy to decide who is the better, who is the weaker, or are they both great? So overall, Raphael as Frankenstein's monster is really excellent. Uh, it's just a great action figure, much like with the Michelangelo mummy. Brand new design, great detail, like insane detail. Good accessory loadout, though lesser than some of the others just because of his size and his bulk. Uh, and overall, just a fantastic figure. If you love Universal Monsters and Ninja Turtles, you can't go wrong with these figures. And they're still my favorite Ninja Turtles from NECA. So Raphael's a pretty cool figure, and I really love the Universal Monsters Ninja Turtles line, which is why I dedicated so much time to it within Month of Monsters. Tomorrow, the next in the Triple Turtle Trilogy. Who will it be? Find out tomorrow.